Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to my second video for today. Um, this is a response to the Vinyl Guru, uh, Christina, who put out a challenge to show albums with covers that are 90% black. Now the tough bit is 90% black. So unless you get a ruler out and do a lot of uh, measurements of area, um, I'm sure a lot of the covers being shown are not 90% black. However, um, these are probably the ones I have that haven't been shown that um, are closest to 90% black. I think a couple of them are over the 90%, but some of them are certainly under. Um, I wanted to show Electric Warrior, but Rachel showed that. She, it's the only video I've actually seen apart from Christina's. Uh, Christina herself showed Back in Black, which I could have shown, and Black Star by David Bowie. So anyway, I'll race through these. This is going to be the quickest one yet. And we'll start off with Chess. Which is the um, it's the play the musical play by um, Benny and Bjorn from ABBA and Tim Rice and it has one night in Bangkok on it and the uh, what's the big hit off that oh, I know him so well it's a really good album it's done 1984 Adam and the Ants their debut album Dirk wears white socks mostly black good album. Mm, this one maybe not so much. It's a fantastic album, but I don't know if that's ninety percent black. But anyway, the man who sold the world, the uh, nineteen seventy two reissue cover. This is my favourite cover for that album, by the way. I love that Ziggy Kick cover. It's fantastic, and the back of it is very black as well. Pat Benatar, and this is her live album, uh, live from Earth. Bought for a pound about six months ago, yet to play it, don't know what it's like. And it's quite black at the back as well. Um, this is not 90% but it's close. The Cult and This Is Love and this is the one with Revolution, Rain and She Sells Sanctuary on it. Um, I prefer the previous album because apart from those three I'm not overly keen on this but yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. Neil Diamond, the jazz singer, and the way the lights go on. Yeah, there's quite a bit of gold in that as well, but it's mostly black. So it's quite a good album as well. Not a big, huge Neil Diamond fan, but I always like this. And I love that as a taproot manuscript album. Fantastic album. Uh, this one I'm sure will be shown if it hasn't been shown already, and that's the police. Um, this is Ghost in the Machine, yeah, a very black album. Status Quo, Hello, their 1973 album with Caroline Roll Over Lay Down on it, number one album in the UK, yeah, very very good album, and there is silhouettes of the band on that, but the lighting won't let you see it, so Status Quo, Hello. Three more left. Again, there's a lot of writing in this, but the actual cover itself is black. Johnny Cash, the man in black, of course. What else would you expect with a title, the man in black? And he is the man in black as well. Beautiful album cover by the Stranglers, Feline. This one here would certainly be 90%. This is the one I thought of first. So yeah, Feline from 1983. And my last one in this very short video, because Rachel did this, I'm going to do Bull and Boogie, which is a compilation released in 72. It also got to number one in the UK charts. Uh, it is a brilliant album. Not, not so black at the back, but at the front, it's all black apart from the names. Okay, so that's my response to um, Christina, the Vinyl Guru. I'll put her uh, link uh, down below. Uh, check her out. She's got one hell of an infectious personality. Okay, that's me for now. I hope to have another video quite soon. All the best. Bye-bye.